Okay, welcome back, everybody, to the second episode. And now we're going to, uh, let's see just how close we can get. We need to zoom in here a little bit. Get as close as possible with our Richmond von Karstein. And then with Vlad von Karstein, we're going to be able to get in there. We're going to declare war. We're going to say yes, I'm sure. War with us. You think that is wise? Well, let's find out. I could just auto this and simply have it done right off the bat. However, for those of you who watched the first episode, you know that's just not happening. Because I love my casualties as a nice super Vlad von Karstein vampire army. Bring it! So we're going to take down Swarchhofen, or Swarchhofen, um, whatever, that guy, and we're going to say 13 wins of magic. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm good with that. Oh, and the super. Look at this. Okay, so they're going to try and reinforce over here. There's no uh, super lines or anything I can draw. Oh, is that how you do that? Oh, I just found something else. Cool. So you can hold alt. Uh, left alt and left click and you can move your guys that's pretty cool wait we have uh, uh, whatchamacallit uh, uh, vanguard is the word I was looking for so we're gonna vanguard over here we're going to take these guys and we're going to number three them in as well, right on top of our va uh, zombie army. And now we're going to take these guys, number four, these guys number five, and these guys number six. We're going to put these guys over here, just in case they come over that way. These guys are going to come down here on the ground as well, just to box them in. And welcome, my name is Brisnar. Added area effect, bring it on. We're gonna do this. Oh, uh, excuse me. We're going to dance macabre. And then super master of beguilement this guy. So he's got like nothing. We're going to take our blood knights. We're going to massacre these zombies right in here. Some of them get tied up, but that's okay. And we're just going to take all of these guys and just swarm their lord. Mainly because there's only uh, one squad of zombies here. And with that, our reinforcements come on in. Oh, here we go, folks. Here we go. This is how it's done. Uh, these guys. Uh, let, let's see if we can get a nice little kill shot here. Oh, and down he goes. Battle over. Let's see if we can get some zombie thriller action going on here. I'm telling my blood knights to move over a little bit. Get more uh, actual uh, knights in there. Whoa, that massive hit from Vlad, man. Oh, that second massive hit. Vlad just decimating these zombies. The blood knights decimating these guys, just kind of like holding them there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Game over. User wins. Okay, so... Uh, now we're going to refocus everybody. You guys go here. We're going to take these guys and add these guys to the number two army. We're going to just unmask here. Three. Yeah, sure. Uh, three these guys. Uh, these guys are going to come in from the left flank. Number six is going to come over here. 
And these guys are going to join the uh, Blood Knights. The flying units are going to pop in over here. Blood Knights are going to... And the Fell Beast. Or sorry, the Dire Pack, the Dire Wolves. Everybody's going to move into position here. As fast as possible, please. Everyone's moving. Let's close this. Oh, Vlad already in position. Where's this guy? He's moving up to. Oh, oh, hello. These guys are just going to uh, make a massive... Okay, that's not what I wanted them to do. They're going to come up and around. These guys are going to charge in this way. And the flying units are going to go after those... Uh, Blood Knight's going after the zombies, if they can. Uh, that's a bad move for on that part. Oh, let's see the charge. Boom, baby! Oh, the massive just demolishing of them. Ooh. Gonna do one of these. And a dance macabre. I said one of these, please. Are you being held up? Yeah, there's there's too many guys here. These guys are gonna fly off before they get surrounded. I'm gonna need to get these blood knights out of there before they lose some guys. Uh, everybody's in attack mode here. These guys are just going to massacre over here. Gonna need some more guys over here. These guys are going to come into the back. These guys are gonna attack here. These three units are gonna go straight after these skeleton warriors and other stuff. There's so many guys on the field. Even my computer is having a tough time. Okay, these guys are just kind of standing around, so let's uh, bring them into the back of these guys. Uh, where are... There. Let's bring them in. <clears throat> let's do a Dance Macabre here. Reduction in the melee attack of these guys. My var guys are having a hard time getting away, which does happen. Uh, skeletal spearmen. Okay, let's go after these zombies for my other zombies. These guys are nice and surrounded. That's always a good thing. These spearmen are going to have a hard time. Zombies are getting annihilated, which is cool. Uh, let's see, where are these guys? Oh yeah, they're just decimating. They don't even care. Uh, let's pull these guys back so they can get another charge bonus. Let's check on these guys. Uh, he needs some more life, so let's single cast him. We need to get really good Dance Macabre here. These three units are gonna compile on this guy. Oh, that's another legendary, or sorry, that's a lord, so unfortunately we're not gonna have 
super losses like we really hoped for. These guys aren't doing pretty much anything. These guys are in combat, which is not good. Uh, these Blood Knights need some regen, so I'm going to call them back over here. The Skeletal Spearmen are having no problem with our other units over on that side, on the right flank. Another two seconds before this is done. I'm going to look for these. Oh, I hit the wrong guys. <clears throat> uh, let's get a good one right there. That'll get many kills. Uh, we need to lose some more units though, so I'm gonna stop buffing. And I'm going to keep my super units out of this. I need to lose a lot more zombies if this is going to be a successful encounter. Let's call them all the way back. Uh, these guys are getting demolished. That's not good. Vlad and Richmond are not doing well. So we're going to heal them up as much as we can. But bam! I don't know if that... Oh yeah, that hit. So that's good. <clears throat> these spearmen are not fighting anything, which is good. Uh, these zombies, let's pull them back a little bit. We don't want to overwhelm them too much. That way they can get some more kills. Uh... Okay, uh, let's reform the line. Pull them back, and hopefully with everybody running around, it will boost the morale of the, or leadership, or whatever. Uh, what's it called? <clears throat> uh, the binding of the these other undead units. I'm going to bring back the tith, tithy, and the constig guys, and my super units are still chilling in the back there, so that's good. I'm going to bring them up. We're going to attack these zombies, 2-1-1 one, one here. Uh, I did not lose half as as half of as many as I was hoping to uh, but still that's gonna be a 4,000 loss hopefully in total minimum uh, these guys are going to just kinda stay there the tithy are not listening very well these guys are a unit has been wiped out that's good <clears throat> alright and I'm going to try and pull some of these guys back and only leave one or two in defense here. I'm going to let them do that. And where are my super knights? Oh, blood knights. No. Okay, I'm going to throw that there. I'm gonna try and get this guy. I don't know. Nope. It's okay though, he has regen regeneration, so he's gonna heal. Vlad with a 270 kills, what a beast. He's classified as a wizard, however he is a melee expert, so... He's still pretty good, and he's got a 42 charge bonus, which is pretty decent, compared to this guy's 28. Uh, rather soon, we will have enough for Manfred von, von Karstein. I'm going to try not to overwhelm their lord right here. <clears throat> What's this guy's issue? Uh, army losses, forces outnumbered. Okay, okay, so he's going to start regaining his leadership there, or his binding. Uh, those zombies are going to go down. I'm going to try and annoy him with these. And bring these zombies in. 
<clears throat> Unfortunately though, it looks like we took out most of their units, so it's going to be a much longer battle than I expected. I'm gonna... oh, there goes that unit too. Okay. Wow. Since that's it, let's bring in Vlad. We're going to Dance Macabre him. Get in there, boy. I'm not going to use that until Vlad gets in there. Uh, he is crumbling. Sorry, Marcus is crumbling, so things are not going to go well for him. There we go. Hi, Marcus. How's it going? Uh, we pretty much won this, so I'm just going to watch. Let's see Marcus. Oh, and Marcus goes down. Vlad just decimating him like nobody's business. Lost about a quarter as much as I really wanted to, which is not as good as I hoped. I, I was really hoping that they'd... Uh, do a lot better than they did. However, most of their forces were zombies too, so <clears throat> I guess we did pretty decently. Uh, we're going to see... ooh, subjugate, but no. We're going to loot and occupy, that way we also enslave the captives or dominate them. Vlad von Karstein. Income from Vampire Crypts and Vampire Keeps. And we have... Come on. 7,000 casualties. This is going to be such a massive resurrect. Or ri raise the dead. Uh, and since there's... Nothing here. Oh, these guys can't get in there. They're going to get in there now. And because... Uh, Swarchhofen has absolutely no settlements. They need to attack me here, otherwise they're going to be done this turn. <clears throat> and since we have a little bit extra coin, we're going to upgrade every single building we have here. <coughs> Excuse me. There, like some startled sheep. Deliver thy message, lamb, so I may consider a response. Um, how about you pay me? Whatever. Are you, you better, that moot better not be part. Your prestige grows, my lord. News of your conquest spreads far and wide. Your developing power is noted by even the most distant of kings and bestial lords. Cool. Okay, so this guy is going to be uh, Money Mancer as I know him. Uh, <coughs> it reduces construction costs by a total of 20%, and on top of that, he's also going to in increase the income from all buildings by 15%. Uh, what else? What else? Storm magic? Zap? Wait, what's this? This is new. I haven't played the uh, Grim in the Grave before, so this is all new to me. Oh, what? <coughs> wow. Magic detection, scouting magic item. <gasps> Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, so we're going to need a second necromancer for some uh, magical item uh, finding this. Curse of Years is also a very, very OP spell for the vamps. Minus 28% speed and minus 35 attacks, uh, melee attack. And on top of that, 15 second ability recharge for the enemy. All debuffs. So, uh, with the Dance Macabre on us and with the Curse of Years on the enemy, it's going to be extremely overpowered in our favor, which is awesome. And we're also going to get an ar ancient armory here. We're going to get a burrow. Um, we're not going to get a burrow. 
we're going to get a uh, defiled Karen and uh, Vlad. No, Richmond has a uh, level. <clears throat> I'm going to get uh, hunger on this guy as what well. He gets a terror geist mount? That is crazy! Oh man, I love these new guys. One sec. Hmm. <clears throat> Alrighty. So we're not going to tax this province because we want that public order up as much as we can. We're going to try... Oh, what? See? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Unholy lodestone. Uh, I just want to pin this. I don't want to... Okay. So with that unholy lodestone, corpse cart, we're going to get a vigor mortis, which is a passive buff to all of our allies within a 45 meter range. Uh, plus four percent armor piercing damage, plus twelve melee defense, and plus eight melee attack. We're also going to get a constant healing regen for all of our units within that forty-five range, and it also regenerates in case it gets damaged. So, I know there is a better version of it, and the Black Knights and such. I'm not going to use anything yet because the more you use that uh the more uh overall uh the more that casualty uh number goes down so we're going to wait a little bit however i'm going to take vlad because uh richmond Somebody please come up with a name better than Richmond. Because, uh, yeah. Richmond? Really? Not that there's anything wrong with Rich. Just, yeah. So, someone help me out there. Vlad von Karstein's gonna come back over here. We're going to... Uh, he can't recruit in Force March Stance, which is okay. <coughs> It's going to be four turns until we can get some Grave Guard, and that takes two turns, so that's okay. Good trade-off right there. And before we attack Castle Templehof, we're going to raise the dead over here. However, before we do that, I know there's a lot of things that uh, I'm talking about that a lot of people may not understand. The Razor Standard uh, in the battle... Eliminate Lord belonging to any of the following Templehof, uh, Sterland, so the moot. Okay. We're not going to do that just yet. We're going to check. What is this? Uh, we're not going to get that just yet. It does look like something we will get in time, but we're not just. We're not quite there yet. Summon zombies? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, we're also going to try and get down to what hit points you get more life and oh man this guy's crazy <clears throat> uh, income diviner what magic item truck oh wow this guy's just too OP like how do you oh man I don't even know what to say to this So before we start buffing him himself, uh, we're going to try and get down to that uh, Curse of Years. Uh, let's get a 50% reduction in the cooldown for the Dance Macabre. I'm going to look here. Pretty much nothing. We're not going to recruit anybody. We are, however, going to increase the Burrow. And with that, hopefully one of these uh, settlements will be able to get something really good. So I'm going to move him over here. I'm going to look at what we can get. I'll get a Crypt Ghoul. And then we're going to move over to Waldenhof over here. This guy is still chilling. Uh, let's see what we can... Hex Wraiths. Crypt Horrors, Vargolf, Black Knights, Lances, and Barding, which we had last time, but yeah. 
see oh man oh man this is just too crazy this game is awesome we are going to do so well Vlad is just a beast he does not want anything to do but demolish everybody and everything he is invincible and at this time we're not uh, yeah we're going to and then we're going to disband these zombies these guys are already ranked six uh, the Vargais are rank five this is just too crazy man I don't even know what to say uh, we're going to go for a charnel pit here to increase the growth that way we can get up to rank four and five for our Byzantium our main city here or Castlehof uh, Castlehof what is this? Drakenhof. So, if we really wanted to, we can take out these uh, red spears. Or bloody spears. What are you guys called? Yeah, bloody spears. <coughs> I'm going to take a look at this guy. Uh, I'm looking at the sack value. You can see just about here. 1,909 versus 182 so I might sack uh, that one or I might sack over here uh, however we don't have very good uh, armor piercing stuff yet other than our single unit of blood knights and as you can see 44 armor piercing that's that's gonna be pretty devastating so yeah, uh, these guys have, I just wanted to check the uh, raised dead on this count. And now we're going to go all the way back down to Schwarzhofen. This guy is going to recruit some more zombies. 130, 130. Yeah, I don't want to raise the dead. Uh, it looks like we got some more stuff though. Corpse cart, unholy lodestone. Oh yeah, we're. This is just gonna be so devastating to the enemy. Um. Hi, hi. There we go. Or my zombies will pull out declare war. We have three turns remaining before we can declare war on them and still have no repercussions. So that's still plenty of time to get down here with Vlad. Uh, Schwarzhofen is still going to get a massive boost to our public order, so no worries there. I'm going to demolish this, which I should have done it in the first place. Bloody Spears are going to move on through because they're at war with the dwarves. Uh, orcs and dwarves in this game really, really, really dislike each other. Hildebrand, von Karstein, and... Oh yeah, that, that's the guy that we hired just for the quest. Um, we're going to tell this guy to come up here. And he's going to raise some... Uh, Crypt Ghouls. And then... Vlad is going to come down to Schwarzhofen. He's going, this is going to be public order 250. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. So we're going to get the charnel pit here. Uh, can we get anything over here? No. Ray's dead. We can now get Graveguard Great Weapons. So that's going to really come in handy with the uh, dwarves if we decide to go to war with them. I'm going to get some uh, lances and barding for the shock cavalry because they'll do some heavy uh, leadership or binding attack. And the Vargulf is just going to demolish a gate. So as you can see our predicted income is uh, going to start... What? You guys just killed my plan, Sterland. Okay, so... Oh, no. 
<sighs> Unfortunately, that's going to be it for this episode, folks. Uh, negative growth, which is going to suck for Castle Byzantium. Uh, we're not going to get that just yet. We're going to raise dead. We're going to take a look at what we can get. Uh, I'm going to get a corpse cart with an unholy lodestone. I, I want to go left. Thank you. Uh, we want a Vargulf. However... Hmm. <clears throat> Let's pin that. So overall, the Black Knights with Lent oh, Black Knights with lances and barding are going to be. Uh, I don't know. They're going to be good. Don't get me wrong. But they're going to have much less weapon strength than the Crypt Ghouls or Crypt Horrors. So I'm going to pick up one of these as well. All right. Uh, I'm also going to disband these fell bats for the extra income. Now, as you can see, these zombies are getting some super ranking from Vlad's superness and. I'm going to end my turn here, and when we come back from this turn, that's going to be it, because we're out of time, folks. I hope you enjoyed today, oh. and in eight more turns, we're going to have another five melee defense for the Vargheist, and 10% speed for the Vargheists as well. So, as always, folks, I hope you enjoyed today. I really enjoyed today, and until next time, folks, remember, enjoy. Also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe for some uh, additional content because the more subscriptions that we get, the more thumbs up, the more comments. Basically, the more uh, positive outcomes I come across with a certain series, the more I'll do them. For example, Arc, we got a good 40 plus subscribers on and thus I went pretty hard on it and I still am, don't get me wrong. However, uh, I also need to go camping, so with that, I, I'm trying to do some things that really don't take much time. Uh, ARC is very time-intensive. I need to put a lot of time into it in order to get an episode out, whereas this, it, I literally just take half an hour and then, say, 45 minutes to edit everything, and it's good. Whereas ARC, it takes me a couple hours to get a single episode. So, until next time, folks, remember, I hope you had a good day. I had a really good day. Send me some names for some of these special guys, like the Stalkers, the Tithi, the Leaders. Leaders we can rename, as long as they're not a legendary lord. And, yeah. Later, folks. <laughs>